Assalamualaikum everyone. Hope you are all. So now uh, again to the uh, tutorial series of uh, console multi physics. Today's video is going to be a bit longer because I'm gonna show some uh, more things in geometry like the uh, transforms, conversions, chambers, and fillet. So in the transformations, what is the transformations? We just uh, transform our uh, object or domain in some kinds of things. Like if you see the first one is the array. So we select our rectangle. Now here it gives two options, rectangle and linear. So X size, let us take 10. We'll understand what uh, data we need to input here and the displacement let us say 5 and 5. And now we can build up. Here we'll see this is a big array of protein. Now if you want to explain these things, previously the rectangle was 5 by 5 square and now it is 50 by 50 square so if you see here let me zoom okay so 0 to 5 it was the actual rectangle and 0 to 5 it was the actual rectangle okay now as we have set the displacement of x axis as 5 and y axis as 5 so after 5 there is another block and top of the actual rectangle there is another rectangle if you can see so at the distance uh, displacement of 5 and 5 there are two blocks and now if we see again after 5 there is another displacement of block then again after 5 and now in the y axis there is again after 5 and 5 so the array contains a square of 5 by 5 now how long this array will extend it gives the x size as 10 and y size is 10 so 10 into 5 equals 50 and again 10 into 5 equals 50 so as you can see the array extends to 50 now if we change here from 5 to 10 and we are also 10 we can see that distance is now 10 okay this one is 5 and this one is 5 all together but the distance is 5 uh, sorry 10 so, now what happens if we uh, click the linear one let us be the linear and the size let us take uh, now you will see it has increased in a linear pattern rather than a rectangular array so this was the array let us disable it we we'll go for copy so sorry Material as the square displacement as 10 and 10. So, as you can see, here is uh, another rectangle is created in the at the displacement of 10 and 10. So, it's the just the copy of the uh, rectangle here. As you can see uh, we have a mirror move 
rotate and scale. This is the simple operations. I will not go through all of them. Uh, previously, I wanted to go through all of them, but now I think that these are too easy for you uh, to go at this stage of tutorial. So I just uh, go through the scale first. So scale means the original uh, object will be uh, scaled according to your proportionality factor. So let us just choose the rectangle and factor if you choose 2 and center of scaling if we choose if we choose this point means 5 and 5 you will better visualize it and now as you can, you can see that it, the square has uh, has been scaled by a factor of 2 I mean uh, this one is double than the previous one if we give the center as 0 0 will see that you will now better visualize it it is the double of the previous one now if we give an isotropy so scaling is uh, let us take x as 2 and y as uh, 5 so you can see it will take different scaling factors for the x and y axis Just use a bullet, vehicle object. Now we want to go through the uh, mirror. We select the uh, rectangle, point of line of reflection. Let us take 5 and 5. And here's a line of reflection, a normal vector to line of reflection. Uh, you will have to give this or define this so if it is uh, build and we will say the rectangle is mirrored in with respect to the point 5 and let me tell you that the uh, move and rotate function will just require uh, some uh, coordinates that you need to uh, insert the coordinates will be the new position for the object that's all now we want to check the conversion In the conversion, we have uh, the options to convert to solid, curve, point, and split. So, if we convert to solid, I don't know how you wanna differentiate it. We choose the object rectangular and uh, repair tolerance. To be honest, I don't know what it means. If I get to know, I will let you know in the uh, later tutorials. So, uh, build all object, and uh, according to the uh, function it should be converted in solid uh, now uh, we don't see any difference here I don't know uh, and uh, if we go to the uh, convert to curve you'll see that uh, instead of this solid we will have only the edges so so you can see we have only the edges and it's a curve you can see I don't need to tell you and if we go to uh, convert to points what will happen what do you think uh, when I first um, uh, tried to uh, run this operation I thought that uh, the whole uh, rectangle will convert to an uh, area of point but actually it uh, didn't turn to it. Uh, let us see what happens. Uh, we uh, select the rectangle and now build our object. We see we have only the corner points here. So let us disable it. Build. 
and the last one we can see uh, it's split so we ch uh, check the uh, rectangle and just it won't work for a single object uh, let us take the water uh, circle now if we see okay still it makes no difference to me don't know what it does and now uh, what is chamfer uh, i don't know what the, the actual uh, pronunciation of it but i will call it chamfer so uh, here we can see it calls for the uh, vertices. Now uh, let us uh, do the experiment with a single point. Uh, let us choose this one point and distance for part from vertex. Let us give a random number like uh, two. Let's see what's happen. Oops, it is flat. The point has turned to be a uh, flat end. Uh, straight line um, so i guess uh, this distance actually cut the point uh, let me clear uh, myself uh, let me uh, disable it first uh, build object uh, so this was the original uh, structure now we have chosen this point and we had given the distance from the vertex as 2 so uh, from this point at the distance of 2 like here 2 and here 2 so this will uh, make a triangle if uh, I am not wrong this and this triangle will be omitted uh, or subtracted from the structure let me see again okay as i had expected uh, the vertex was the point of 5 and 5 and we have given the uh, distance of 2 so 5 minus 2 is 3 and we can see that is the point 3 and here it's also the point 3 so you can imagine a triangle here a triangle here and the triangle is uh, subtracted from the structure if we choose some other points like okay this is chosen these points um, now as you can see uh, it has been the shape has changed so this is the chamfer now this is uh, we want to try fillet before that let us go back to our original shape uh, this is the fillet uh, from the uh, uh, what it is called uh, the icon from the icon here you can see that it's uh, something like a rounded shape so let us see uh, here it also calls for the vertexes uh, let us choose one vertex like previous and radius uh, we give the radius as 2 and let us see whoa it has carved the point as a circle uh, okay now i have a feeling that i can make the uh, transform the square into a circle let me try this uh, let me choose some other points uh, points are very hard to uh, choose okay let me see okay uh, it is near to uh, a circle 
let me try something else okay now i have a circle awesome so you see uh, with the fillet i transform the rectangle or square into a circle so here i would like to uh, finish my tutorial on geometry i have gone through the uh, basic geometrics uh, yes basic geometrics and except the uh, bezier polygon i will uh, talk on this uh, in some later tutorials and uh, i have talked boolean and partitions transforms conversions tempers select and uh, measure except these things uh, you can export other things and uh, if you find any difficulties you can let me know in the comment section and in the description box the associated blog link will be uh, provided you can read the blog for further information uh, okay i know uh, reading blogs are boring but I provide some more information in the blogs uh, than the video so don't forget to check the blogs also thank you very much and please subscribe if you find this uh, uh, if you find my videos has made you learn something please subscribe thank you very much